Dennis Ocampo of the Senator's Wally Kali System, and the founder of CUT, Concealed Carry Irving Tactical Training. Today's request is in regards to the Karambit. Now, from my previous video, the Karambit shows all of the strikes in regards to the 12 strikes of the Senator's Wally Kali System. Here, the request is where are those actual targets actually coming from? Where are they being delivered? Well, we have to be very careful in Senator Shwali Kali system. We have to be extremely careful about where our strikes are because of legalities. So I'm going to show you in general where these strikes are in regards to the body. But that does not mean this system emphasizes the body. What we do emphasize is what's called the tendon termination. So pay close attention to what we call the tendon termination and where these strikes are going that are not to the body. So let's take a look at those strikes using what we call the karambit. The karambit, the particular one that I, was, I use today, is the one that's by, made by Emerson. Okay, this is the training one, so let's take a look at what we have. The potential strikes that we have, based upon the video that you've already seen, is the 12 strikes. That to, those 12 strikes are from here, temple, temple down to the knee. So the temple knee, that's my number one. One strike number two strike is coming down so here you're going to notice that I'm not using a blade but I am able to use this hooking motion later on you'll see that that hooking motion is this so I can drive up okay so this is my one this is my two okay notice how I'm using my tenth hand to check from here this is two strike number three is coming up low from the knee to the temple from here okay from here is now four Four comes up straight across from this direction. So it's going here, knee to temple. In this situation, the five comes straight and vertical up. Okay, straight and vertical up. This one here comes across. This is my number six. Six comes across, seven comes across. Eight is a downward motion. You'll see the application of that. Again, that could be the fact that I'm coming straight down in this motion to check or to clear. So here. So this is my eight from here. Nine looks pretty similar to three and four, but it's a higher motion that I'm coming from here, rib cage. Okay? So here, nine, this is my ten. Eleven is the opposite of the eight that comes from the right side. This one comes from the left side. So this is my eleven. Once again, it could be eleven from this side if I'm ever in this position that I'm clearing down and in, in using a counter strike. Okay? My 12 now comes from a passing from here, which is, again, straight down. So here you, you're seeing it in the sense of the targets of the body. In the Senator Shwali Kali system, we don't attack the body. My goal is to go home. The threat isn't the body. The threat is not the person. The threat is actually the arms and the legs that are attacking me. So I want to make sure I want to take these out. If I can take these out, in the terms of the Filipino martial arts, defanging the snake, if I can take these out defensively with my blade, then the person can attack. So let's take a look at the number one in the sense of using what we call tendon termination. Tendon termination from here, if I'm in the sense of here using the arm, this is my number one. I don't want to go here to the body. This is number one here. Number two is checking back down. If I use it on the other side, number one, on this side is one. From this side, he gives me that. I can actually go number two. So this is one of this is what I'm looking at at number one and number two. So once again, he gives me that number one, cutting the tendon termination from here. Two, I can check number one again. Working off the outside, I can be guiding, clearing, but also because of the usage of the karambit from here, I'm also making a defensive cut from here. Same thing in this direction. Here's my number two. Notice I am not going to the body whatsoever. Based upon legalities, I better be able to explain why I'm going to the body. Here I just want to cut, cut what's a threat, which is the arms, or it could be the legs. And then from here, I want to go home. So, one and two. So, one and two. My three and four, if you remember, three and four is coming up. Three and four is coming up. In this motion, three and four coming from down here could be the strike here. Three and four could be coming up. In this situation, I'm cutting the tricep. If I'm cutting the tr tricep, there's no extension of this arm. So three and four can be coming from here, okay? If that strike is coming from me, defensively, my four could be pairing that. So I'm going to knee to temple from here, I'm making this check, okay? 
from here on this hand, it can be the same thing. Here, or it can be here. Three, three, deflect. That hand comes four from this direction. So I'm going four into the three. Now, five, earlier, I said went straight to the body. All I'm really looking for is the path of the stripe. So a four comes up, I'm really going here. I'm making this cut here to the hand. If he's coming back this way, that same motion could be coming this way. The path of the strike is up, vertically up. That's five. Okay? Same thing with that hand. That hand comes, five. Coming from here. Okay? Six, we said target here, targeting here. Well, the path of the strike is this way and this way. So if there's a low strike coming to me, here's my number six coming here. If I cut the bicep, then there's no fold from here or no bend. So I'm coming this direction from here. If that hand comes, here's my six. From here, there's my six, bicep again, or I can go wrist from this direction. If he gives me this hand, five can be this way. I mean, six can be this way, he's deflecting. Six can be this way, appearing from this direction. Redirection, and then I can go back to a cut if I need to. Okay, so that's six. Six and seven. The eight motion, like I showed earlier, could be a downward motion. That's my downward motion from here. So if that eight comes, it's flexing that down. If that strike ends up coming, and I move, that eight is coming straight down, which sets me up for my next motion. If I go nine and ten, nine and ten again is, again, here. The motion is here, just like almost like a three and four. The three and four could be from here, too. If they can't walk, they can't attack. So same thing with my nine and ten. My 9 and 10 can come from here. My 10 can come from here. Tricep motion, cut from here. Okay? I can also use in any of the strikes, my 9 can be from here using the butt portion of the karami. So I can use this if I choose not to make the blade, or I can do two. One, two, and make the cut. Here, I can make from here. Okay? So this portion here, if I don't want to become lethal, in the sense of using the blade, I can use this motion here, which is a lot of my gunting, what we call gunting, or scissoring motion. Okay, so I'm coming here with my number nine. I'm coming here with my ten. That ten could be the deflection of that, and then I can set for another strike. All right, my eleven is the opposite of the number eight motion, so if I'm going this way, strike comes and I move, this can be my eight or my eleven. Coming straight down, which you notice, the 11 comes from the left side. The 8 comes from the right side. In this portion here for the final strike, here's my, uh, my 12. What am I really looking for? This motion here. If you take a look from this neutral position, that was this motion. That could be anything that comes straight ahead to me. From here, here, I'm coming straight down. Okay, so if he's going straight to my body, I'm pairing that, coming straight down, which would be my 11. I mean my 12, from this direction. Same thing here. If that strike's coming, nothing changes if I'm here and I can go straight down here and make that cut and then go from here. So, those are the basic strikes that you've seen in the previous video of Karambit and the 12 strikes. Here gives you a little bit more emphasis on where the targets are. Again, in the Sinatur's Wally Kali system, we're looking to stop the threat. If I can stop the threat, I can go home with any of these motions. There are cuts, there are, there are impact strikes, or there are parries in moving my arm around from here. Again, this is not a video on emphasizing footwork, but footwork using the, any impact weapon or any bladed weapon is so important. So keep that in mind, making sure that you're following the 12 strikes and anything that I'm doing, that's my one, here's my two. Here's my three coming up. There's my four. Here's my five. He comes down to my body. There's my six. He comes down to my body. There's my seven. He comes straight to my head. Carry that. There's my eight. Okay. Here's my nine again. That's my nine. I'm coming up. There's my ten. Okay. He comes up. I see it. There's my eleven. Comes from here. He comes from a strike. There's my twelve. So, once again, the emphasis of this Karambit video is emphasizing the tendon termination and defanging the snake. Hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions, come visit my site 
on Filipino Kali Educator on YouTube. So if you have any questions, send me an email.